and kind enough to take some time with us on the pregame show. Charles, thank you for being with us. We miss you in studio. Jimmy wants to know what hole you're on. Uh, 17. <laughs> well, 17. <laughs> okay. Part, part three. And where are you playing? Where are you playing? Superstition Mountains. Ooh, Ooh that's a nice Charles, spot. You're, you're a Phils fan. I know this, but now with Arizona in the mix, where does your allegiance lie? Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm really, I'm in a win-win situation. I'm not going to lie. We're, we're looking I for an lose. answer, Chuck. We're just looking for an answer. Arizona, Philly, there you go. Try to play politics yeah. already. Well, you know, Jimmy, you and Ryan, Jason Worth, Chase Utley, you know, I go back to Smitty and John Crook and those guys, but I'm a diehard Phillies fan, man. You know, obviously, I love <laughs> Arizona. I, I love Arizona, but, you know, Every time they show me on the Jumbotron in Philly, people send it to me, so I got to roll with the Phillies. <laughs> Smart answer. That's, that, that's my man right there. That's why I used to have his whole uniform when I was a kid. At the, 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 the jersey, the shorts, and, and the shoes. I, I but but, but, like but, but you used to, you used Charles? I would. I mean, Charles was he would he was in shape. That must have been a blanket for you <laughs> then. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, Chuck. I love it. Now let me ask you a question. When you go to Philly, uh, what are you looking forward to, to the most? Well, I is, is it the Philly something. cheese? Philly cheese hanging out the golf courses or what? Philadelphia has probably five of the top 20 golf courses in the country. That's why I live in Philadelphia during the summer. You know, my favorite golf course in the world is Saucon Valley. You got Aronimic, you got Pine Valley, you got Philly C Cricket Club, you got Philly Country Club, you got Marion. So that's why I live in Philadelphia during the summer. But man, the weather's starting to be nice out here in Arizona, y'all. Y'all gonna be freezing. <laughs> I'm gonna be out here playing golf. Charles threw out the first pitch at Citizens Bank Park and I would like your critique. Do we have that video? Chuck, how do you think you did? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Why do they I have you in a club really uniform, crazy, though? Man. A little too no, safe. That was, that, was actually, that was actually in Chicago. And Wrigley, and yeah. let me tell you something. They told me beforehand, you can't throw the ball high enough. And because you look like you're going down, <laughs> well, first of all, I want to say this. I wasn't nearly as bad as Stephen A. Smith. He was the worst ever. <laughs> Stephen no, A. You, was you, the worst you, ever. But, but you know what? Yeah, that man can't, can't even throw, defend himself. Yeah, but you know what, Chuck. Jimmy? You can't throw. Oh, you can't God. throw the ball high enough. Are you gonna say it? You, mm. you, you had a bad catcher too. Yeah. You had a bad yeah, catcher. Got, he needed to block that ball. Definitely. Hey, listen, hey, 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 you hey, know Rizzo. You got to stay off Rizzo. That's my guy, man. Hey well, Charles, I know you. I know you're out there. We, we're trying to pitch you against Phoenix and and, and um, Philadelphia in a number of ways. Obviously, you're going team wise. We talked a little food, but I'm gonna mix it up a little bit here. What about the mascot? You always seem to have a little bit mm. of interesting battles and debates with the fanatic. But what about over there in Phoenix with Baxter and the gorilla? Which mascot is the one that you would be having? Oh my for gosh, you? what the fanatic ever do to well, you? It may not be the fanatic after we oh watch this. <laughs> well, I, I got to say this. The fanatic is a living legend, but I got to go. Listen, I'm going to go to my Phoenix Suns with the gorilla. Ooh, the fanatic good and call. the hey, The fanatic. The gorilla and the San Diego, uh, San Diego chicken. Chicken. Mm -hmm. And Rocky. And don't forget Rocky and Denver, the world champ Denver Nuggets. I'm heading there Tuesday to start the season. Those are the four best mascots in sports history. I'm sorry, but I, I can't I can't I can't agree with you. The Philly fanatic is the best I've ever seen. And, and I, I'm emphatic about it. I mean I've seen him bottle Tommy Lasoda, bottle players, <laughs> bottle everybody, strip in the middle of the field, <laughs> get arrested. I, I mean everything. I've seen everything from the fanatic. I haven't seen that much from any other mascot in, in, in any chicken sport. San Diego used to go off, Pedro. The San Diego chicken, Chuck, you had it right. The San Diego chicken was raw. Yeah, but uh, that, that, that's way past. I mean, you were, just a, baby. Time, you were just a baby when the San hey, Diego Jim, chicken Jim, happened. Pe Pedro probably ain't been to no other sporting events other than baseball. That's why he's going with the fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you said it. Hey, you that's a fact. Yeah. So that, Charles, that's literally yeah. right. Charles, your prediction for the series, Phillies and how many? Well, I think tonight 
is going to be the most important game for the Diamondbacks. They got probably the best young pitcher going tonight in Gallon. Mm. I think Philly, Philly, man, when they're hitting the ball, they're unbelievable. If the if the Diamondbacks got a chance, I think they got to win the game tonight. But man, Swarber, uh, obviously Bryce Castellanos, obviously I go my man Trey Turner. When the Phillies are hitting the ball, nobody can beat them. So I think the game is really important. Gallup's been great the second half of the season. I'm really looking forward to watching the game. That man right there, that Bryce Harper. Hey, Adam Moore Harper, keep doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, born in October. I got a feeling October. that tonight's going to be a good night. <laughs> Thanks for the time. I got a feeling. There we go, Chuck. Exactly, it went exactly how I thought it was going to go. <laughs>